Hi, I'm Paul. Over the last few weeks, I've made a few videos about OBS Studio. One was configuring the basic settings. Another one was adding the desktop audio. And then the third video was about adding a microphone. Someone left a comment in one of the videos and they didn't understand how the recording tracks worked in OBS. And I answered the question, but then I thought, well, let me just make a video. So I also created a free PDF that you can download. You don't have to provide any information at all, no email address, nothing like that. Just click the link in the description of this video. It'll open in your browser and then you can download it. And I'll be using the, the PDF to create this video. So it should be easy for you to follow along with. So if you haven't already downloaded and installed OBS Studio, I put the link in the description of this video and the information is also in the PDF. I also use Audacity, which is an open source uh, audio editing program, totally free to use. And I do that because I make a sample video, make sure that I'm using all the audio capture devices, whether it's mic uh, microphones or desktop audio. And then I drag the video into Audacity. It extracts the audio and then I can physically look at the waveforms and listen to it. You can also do that with your uh, video editor, but if you're using Windows and I'm using Windows 11, if I open that video, even though there's multiple tracks recorded and I open it and play it in Windows Media Player, I only hear the first track. I don't know if that's a Windows Media Player issue or if that's just that I'm using it wrong, but if you do that and you only hear one track, don't get upset. Bring it in to Audacity or your video editor. It might be just fine. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to come over to settings at the lower right hand corner of the screen and select that. And when this window opens up, come up to the upper left hand corner and select output. So if you haven't made any changes to this panel or if you're just installing OBS Studio for the first time up here at the top where it says output mode it will say simple and it's fine to leave it that way if you want but if you do you're gonna have to come down the screen under where it says recording and you'll see where it says recording quality same as stream you're gonna want to change that and you can either select high quality medium file size or indistinguishable quality large file size. I personally would select a high quality medium file size if I was, if I was going to leave it as uh, simple. But underneath that you're going to see audio track and you'll have, it'll be one through six. Select the first two. What this is telling OBS Studio is that we only want to record audio to the first two tracks. You can record audio to, to one or more tracks. I could have selected track three and track six if I wanted to, or track four and track one. Doesn't matter. We're just telling OBS Studio we want to record audio to track number one, and we want to record audio to track number two, and not to three, four, five, and six. But we're not telling it what audio to capture. We're not telling it if the where, what track is going to be recording the microphone or which track is recording the desktop audio. I prefer using the advanced uh, output mode. If you select that, come over to where it says recording, the recording tab, select that. And then down here, You'll see audio track, and again, I have track one and two selected. When you're done, just come down to the lower left hand or lower right hand corner, select apply, and then select OK. So the next thing that we want to do is open the advanced audio properties, and you do that by selecting one of these three dot menu icons, or you can come over here to the left 
and select the two little gear icons. It doesn't matter which ones you select because it opens the same panel, same uh, menu. Then you want to come over here and select advanced audio properties. When this panel opens, if you haven't made any uh, adjustments since you opened OBS Studio, the desktop audio, when you first installed it, was already configured. All these tracks, one through six, will be selected. If you had a microphone connected when you installed OBS, it'll say mic slash aux for auxiliary. It'll have all six tracks selected. If you didn't have a microphone connected when you installed it, you won't have one here. I'll put a link in the description of the video where it explains how to add microphones. It's really easy to do, but for uh, this, uh, this demonstration, we're just going to assume that a mic and the desktop audio was configured. So in the settings, we told OBS we only wanted to record the track one and two, which means even though tracks three through six are selected, since they weren't selected in settings, they'll just be ignored. So I created two sample videos. And the first sample video, I recorded it just like this, with all the checkboxes selected. So the desktop audio and the microphone, both of the audio for those two devices are being recorded on track one, and the same for track two, which means track two is just a duplicate of track one. So to better explain this, I'm going to open Audacity, and then I'm going to dr drag and drop the video for this, uh, the first sample video into Audacity. So this is Audacity. I'm going to grab the video, and these are the two tracks that we, re we recorded to. So to select them, you can just click on one and then drag your mouse down. You can also... If you had multiple tracks, you click on the first one, hold the shift key, and then come down and select the last one. Or if you only want to select certain tracks, not all of them, hold the control or the command key down, select the individual tracks, and you can skip over any that you don't want. Right now, I'm just going to drag over it and open it. And here are the audio tracks. So you can see that this is the music. And this is me speaking. And everything is on this one track. And then this track down here is just a duplicate. So I'm going to mute this track. And I'll just play a little bit of this for you. This is a sample video where I have all six tracks selected. And now I'll play this track. This is a sample video where I have all six tracks. So they're identical. I don't know why anybody would do this, but I suppose if you wanted to have a duplicate track, you could. So the problem with this is that if I needed to do something, make some edit to my, to my, to my voice, to the audio coming through the microphone, or if there were some pops or clicks in here and I wanted to get rid of them, I would also be affecting the music. There's, they're recorded together, and there's no way to make an adjustment to one without um, adjusting the other. I mean, it's fine to do this if you want, but if you needed, if you if you find that you need to make some some edits to either clean up the audio, or let's say I wanted to increase the volume of the music, I can select the track, come up to effect. Volume of compression, amplify. Say I want to boost it by 12 decibels. In other words, this part right here. Click apply. Everything gets gets boosted, and there's no way to to separate it. So now I'm going to show you the better way to do it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to deselect tracks three, four, five, and six, and just leave tracks one and two. But I only want the audio for the desktop audio on track two. So I'll deselect track one. And then for the microphone, I'll deselect track two. Now, what's going to happen is track one is only going to have the audio.
from the microphone and track two is only going to have the audio from the desktop audio. Okay, so we're back in Audacity and here's the second sample video. And again, you can see there's two tracks and here they are. This track only has the music. It doesn't have any audio from my microphone. And if I mute the music track. This is a sample video where the desktop audio, you only hear the voice from the microphone. So what's nice about this, let's say the music is too low and I want to make it louder. I can just select a track by clicking on it, come up to effect, volume of compression, amplify. I'll set this to 12 dB. And when I do that, when I click apply, this audio signal waveform will become larger. Audio waveform will not. It won't be affected at all. I can do it again. And nothing was done to this track. So that's the way you want to record everything on their own individual tracks. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments. I try to respond to every comment, try to help you out if possible. I hope this explained how the recording tracks work. And if it did, I'd appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up, give the video a like, and thanks for watching.